Revolutions are a result of humankind's desire to develop, expand, and grow. This has led to all the significant inventions in our society today. If we look back in time, many of the technologies that we use today are improvements of the basic concepts laid during the previous industrial revolutions. Hello and welcome to another episode of Endless Info. The first industrial revolution holds a crucial place in history since it marked the era of mechanization. It was a time where humankind began to understand and use different energy sources. It was the time when industries began to reign over the world. I could go on for hours talking about the first industrial revolution, so I decided to choose the best of the best inventions to keep this video simple and time friendly. The first industrial revolution started when Thomas Newcomen found a new form of energy, steam. He made the atmospheric steam engine that can be used to pump water from mines. The need for such an invention came when Newcomen knew about the high operating costs of using horses to pump water out of mines. The problem with the early steam engine is that it only produced a reciprocal motion and to move something like a wheel, a rotary motion was needed. So James Watt, yes, the unit of power Watt was named after him, he also developed the concept of horsepower and we'll get to that in a separate later on video. He believed that steam energy had an untapped potential that could be applied to countless industrial processes. He subsequently went to tinker the steam engine and made his version of the new common steam engine with a separate condenser and other useful modifications. The result was a double acting pump that was powerful and fuel efficient. It was a stepping stone which proved that steam packs a serious punch and can be used for more power demanding applications. In the 18th century, cotton production could not keep up with demand of the textile industry. As a result, James Hargraves spent some time considering how to improve the process and came up with spinning jenny. What that meant to the textile industry back in the day, one worker was able to work 8 threads at once compared with one thread per worker. Hence, the output of a single worker rose 8 times compared to the previous obtained output. In the 18th century, if one was to convert cast iron to wrought iron, they had to heat the whole piece in a furnace and then beat it to perfection. Henry Court from Lancaster was someone who loved to tinker with different processes associated with iron. He wanted a system that was cost effective and less demanding in terms of human effort. He used a process called puddling. The process involved steering molten iron in a furnace. The molten metal was then decarbonized to make a real mixture of thick molten metal. This thickened iron was called puddled iron and had many properties that were not available with pig iron. The finished product was better and pure than wrought iron and the bar shape was used immediately. The beauty of this method was that all these processes were mechanized using steam engines and the furnaces did not require charcoal. This was one of the great advancements that shaped the first industrial revolution. Thank you for watching Endless Info. Like and subscribe for more videos.